previously on Sailing Zatara. We continued our journey northward, slowly and peacefully making our way through the shallow banks of the Bahamas, finally arriving back in Florida. I tell you a story about me and you Out on the water, surrounded by the blue They scream that only I'll be saved They told us off the line that I just let it float away Yeah, I let it float away I let it float away I let it float away Float away, float away Yeah, I to learn how to drive the dinghy. Mm -mm. Yes. Anna wants to get her driver's license. She has her permit. She's 17. She's gonna get some practice in our pickup truck now that we have it here in Florida. However, she doesn't even know how to drive the dinghy. Come on, Anna. Come on. Turn the key to the right. about to charge my phone and and I'm going to drive Jack is also working on getting his driver's license so we're gonna practice in our own pickup truck why do you need your phone while you're driving I'm not needing my phone I'm plugging it in oh. life jackets question mark well or, you can see them in them. there we just got pulled over by the coast guard and they're not under me i know they're not under me flyers flyers no i wrote the wrong thing the fire fire. this is a storage what's in here jack that's just a regular so do y'all know uh what make this boat is what year 2006. make 2006 yeah zodiac on a nail um, well, I don't know. Are we going to jail? <laughs> going to jail. Not going to jail. Don't worry. Oh, that's good. I don't want no shit. You're going to learn how it works in Judy. I don't want to eat potatoes. Yeah. Alrighty. Have you ever gotten a, a boating ticket before? Have not. No? <laughs> Alright, first time for everything. So, th these are pretty simple. It's, uh, this one is a $90 citation. Okay. Um, the, the rest of them could be, so, sa saving you quite a few bucks. Thank you. Well, thank you sir. Um, it's $90, you have 30 days to pay it. And all the court information is on the ticket, and can, they're giving you a little pamphlet. Can you mail it in? Uh, you can, yes. Okay. All the information is on there, you can mail it to them. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. It's good. You excited? I am. Yee. I am. B and G, we're going to put it in the boat. We got the toys, we unboxed everything. And you're going to install that yourself? I'm going to install a lot of it myself. Can you do that? I can do that. 
Ken? Now the, the H5000 autopilot, B&G doesn't want deep, uh, it's not really a do-it-yourselfer kind of deal. So I'm going to get, uh, to commission that, I'm going to get a B&G tech out here and put everything and pay them to commission everything and I'll probably hire a guy to run wire up the mast and change out the mast stuff and and do all that because that's kind of hard and then maybe some of the woodwork and stuff but yeah. for the most part everything's just kind of the holes are already cut for most of it and uh, it'll be a pretty easy install and then wiring the backbone the NMEA 2000 and it's a really simple simple system except the H5000 that's just something uh, I don't want to mess with you got to hook up a PC to it and you got to set a whole bunch of variables in that and uh, once it's set up it's great but uh, B&G recommends their techs do that so mm -hmm. we're going to let them do that Awesome. So we're unboxing the radio, one of the radios. I was just trying to see if I can install something tonight. You're ready to do some installation, aren't you? Yeah. We switched all our drills to 20 volts so they have the same batteries on all my drill, uh, cordless drills stuff. Uh, makes it easier on the boat for battery charging. I'm gonna have 10 different battery charges. Cool. Take all my other cordless drill packs in Montana. Okay. Yeah. So I hooked it up so I got HD. It's real simple. This is so simple nowadays with stuff. I mean, a guy like me can do this. We got it. I got to get some black stuff because some of the holes were bigger than they, than I did. But I still got to mount GPS antennas and all those kind of things to make all this work. So we've been here at Keep Us Game for about a week now, and uh, I just checked predict wind on the weather and. Uh, Looks like we'll have a nice sell up to uh, Fort Lauderdale tomorrow. We're moving into the marina so we can finish up the work on the BNG install up the mast. I've done most of that work myself. One of the neat things about that BNG, uh, the new Zeus system, is the Predict Wind downloads. It talks to the your phone or whatever and your Wi-Fi, and it downloads those grip files right onto your chart and your chart plotters. It's really really neat. So Predict Wind and BNG have teamed up on that. That's kind of a neat deal. I didn't know it did that, but it's super cool. It is cool. And. Uh, so we're going to get that finished up, get a new Jenny put in on the starboard side, get rid of the Fisher Pander boat anchor, <laughs> and uh, then we'll go to the boat show, and then we'll be back for uh, heading back to the Panama Canal. So be a lot of rushing going on in the next three weeks.
So today we're replacing hatch covers. A lot of our acrylic lenses are cracked and a lot of the hinges are, and the friction hinges are, are messed up. So I ordered a bunch of Lumar hatches and these old, uh, the old uh, had glue on uh, latches that snap off. And so we never can shut them. So we got new ones to install. And they finally put the screw all the way through. So the hinge isn't glued on. It's actually screwed through the deal. Nice. So, yeah. So put new lenses in all the bathroom ports and uh, any windows that are hatches that are squeaky and not holding up, staying up, we'll put new friction locks and stuff like that in. And all that's so all I'm gonna do on this was change the lens because we had the new style hinges in here. Take the upper frame off, slide the lens out, and slide a new piece in. That one's finished. Perfect, Governor. One, two, three, on. Oh my gosh. What are you gonna do with that? Sell it on eBay. Excellent. We're finally in the last stages of getting our Go Fast dinghy. Nautical Ventures near Fort Lauderdale, Florida teamed up with Highfield Boats and prepared this custom tender for Zatara, outfitting it with B&G electronics, a chart plotter, hydraulic steering, and a 60 horsepower Honda outboard. I think there's a kitchen sink somewhere in there too. Keith is so excited to load up all our diving gear and get out on the water with it. We'll be able to take her with us as soon as the boat show is over. This was the very first boat show we had ever been to, and Highfield Boats had our new Go Fast dinghy on display. So while showing it off, we got to meet hundreds of sailing enthusiasts and Z friends. The overwhelming welcome that we received from our viewers was absolutely unbelievable. Now too. Yeah, Look, we're gonna. Hi. Hi. You want to be on video? <laughs> she has to go swimming. So Grace was skiing. Yeah. We just said hi to Grace. She was skiing. Yeah, she was like on the slope. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Our favorite part was meeting fellow sailors and visiting with families who are preparing to set sail and answering questions about taking that leap of faith and learning how to sail and so many questions about homeschooling. This couple's story was so inspiring and she explains how she became surrounded by the blue. What happened is um, I was on a, on a dating site. I saw this guy's picture and I saw his eyes and I saw the brilliance, you know. And so we talked for a while and it was a nice conversation, you know. Um, but prior to that, just a couple weeks before I'm a nurse and so I was sitting in a nursing station and a good friend of mine came by and told me about how he was thinking about selling everything he owned and getting a boat and traveling the world. And I thought for the longest time that idea just stuck with me. And I thought about it every day. I said, you know, this is the way I want my life to go. So I'm talking to this guy on the dating site and he says, he says, yeah, before we let go, has he ever thought about selling everything you own and getting on a boat and sailing around the world? I said, I need to talk to you. <laughs> and, and then three months later, was it that long? Wow. I mean, it was a, yeah, this happened. And the song, the theme song, Surrounded by the Blue, that's where the sapphires came from. Right. So you know? Yeah. Yeah. And, um, yeah, on top of a mountain, snow covered in Albuquerque, where I was oxygen deprived and out of my mind. And I said, yes. And so now I'm committed. So when are y'all going to head off? We don't know yet. <laughs> we don't know yet. We've got kinda some like, things to like work out. Just when it happens, it happens. That's yeah. It's Riley. We're Vagabond. It's Luna. 
from wherever. I don't know where Luna's from. Tell us about the new relationship that you have. With? With this online person. Where did you, how did y'all, how did y'all hook up the first time? I mean, not hook up, but. How did they hook up? No, you know what I mean. How, what, how did you find out about each other? She watched the channel? Well, yeah, she watched the channel before, and uh, I don't know, some days she followed me. On Instagram? Yeah. She was in Iowa, they were buying a boat, trying to, trying to sail the world, and. So y'all had that in leaving, common? She was leaving home and uh, just seemed to be working. Awesome. And so y'all have been communicating via FaceTime and texting and all the social media platforms for how long? A year and a half. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. It's been quite a while. They're hot and heavy. It's, it's getting serious because Jack just got a token of her um, affection. Give uh, it to us. Via someone, well, how did she get that to you? One of her mom's friends flew down, gave it to a friend, and then the friend gave it to me. Oh, that's cool. Is this it? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So, most of the time, we show that. That's real. So you want to go to the very top and do the end? The, the I'll do. We'll, we'll pull this one through for the for the uh, radar. radar. Yeah. Okay. And we'll run the trace line, and then after that, I'll remove the the radar also, and then okay. we'll bring it all down. All right. You're used to taking people up the master. Oh yeah. Okay. My boy goes up there all the time. <laughs> all right. So today we are we've got the Mass Ocean up the mast. They're uh, putting my B&G transducer, wind transducer, for my B&G retrofit that we did on the boat. And we're just running the wire. It's been really smooth. We ran, already ran the cable for the, the new pulse radar, the uh, B&G pulse radar. And we've run a Cat5 cable for the uh, Wi-Fi antenna. And now we're just running the transducer wire and mounting the new transducer. It's taking about a couple hours, and we should be finished here in about another 30 minutes. And then tomorrow we're going to take it out and commission it? Yeah, tomorrow we'll go out and do sea trials, commission it, and... Uh, then I got to go up to Rybovich Marine and they got to widen the holes out for the transducers and uh, get hauled out, very expensive haul out, just to widen some holes out for the transducers, but that was the only option and uh, that's what we're going to do. When you buy it, when you put in a new uh, electronic something, you commission it and you make sure all the systems work. You go through there for warranty purposes with the factory and making sure all the systems work and they're working properly before you go out to sea full time. You want to make sure all the systems are working. Got it. Excellent. All right. All right, so we are pulling the generator out. We've got it up to here. This thing, I don't know how much it weighs, but it's heavy. Tiny. Thank you, Mom. Hey, hold. Hold. God, if that falls, it's gonna hurt. Okay. It's so heavy, it's stupid. All right. Anna, All right. Hold on. I gotta do another loop. What? And do another loop. No, there's no clutch on that. Don't let him do that. Don't do that. Hold on. Let's see if I can get out of here. Hold on, then. No, no. no. Wheelbarrow? 
Job. Kate and Anna are gonna take the truck up there while the boys sail today. It's really early. You look tired. I look tired. It's <laughs> barely seven o'clock. fun day of shopping and not sailing. Yeah. So we are at Ravovich Marine Yard here in uh, Palm Beach, Florida. We got our boat hauled out here. Now Ravovich is a, an expensive place, but they are first class, professional, top notch. You don't feel like they're got a hand on your shoulder and a hand on your pocketbook at the same time. We're fixing to get the boat lifted and get a couple of sensors. It's a very expensive lift. It's about This whole deal is probably about $4,000 just to get lifted out, drill the holes for the new sensors for the B&G, and then back in the water. But that's what it costs to get it done, and uh, that's what we're doing. We were up on the hard for only one day, and while they were drilling the holes for the transducer, Keith cleaned the bottom, the prop, and changed out some of the zincs.
to raise it up a little. Join us again next Thursday to get notifications of new episodes. Subscribe to our channel and make sure to click the bell. See you next time.